Hello, my name's Stephen Carr, and I'd like to welcome you to another SketchUp cooking class. In this uh, session, I think we're going to try to create a background. So if you uh, zoom inside here and we look outside through the windows, we notice that it's kind of just green and blue, and it's kind of a little bit drab. So we can add windows by creating a background in this area here. Now a couple of th things that are kind of useful when we're doing this. If you do it over here, then there's going to be some other problems, especially when it comes to working with the rotation tool and things like that. So getting things lined up is going to be a bit of a problem. So the first thing we do is we just create this big area here. So it's just a big rectangle. It doesn't matter what the size is. It's not really important. And I'm just going to create an arc here. And then I'm just going to erase this part here. So this gives us the, the shape of the screen that we'd like to have. It's nice to have a curved surface so that it doesn't look like uh, when you look at it, it's going away from you. So we'll just pull this up. And again, uh, we'll probably have to adjust it once we bring the image in, but we can set that up. And that's pretty good, I think. Except for I think maybe what I'll do is I'll just move this back a little bit, give ourselves a little bit of room here. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in an image. So to bring in that image, I just click into File, Import, and I've set this to JPEG, and I'm in my artwork image, uh, same as the one in Share Out. So uh, this looks like it could be interesting. It's a coast kind of shot. This is a little cabin type thing. So you know, anything that you find will work fine. You can go into posters, posters.com, anything like that, or even if you have your own photo. So I just click on Open. And I'm just going to click here, and I'll just scale it out this way. And if I want to, I can always grab it like this and stretch it out a little bit this way. It's, you know, it's not really important exactly what the shape is. So this means that this here is going to have to be scaled a little bit as well. One, two, three. And scale, so just grab that corner, and that's fine. So we need to um, rotate the image so that it's standing up. So to do that, we select it, click on Rotate. Now again, if you remember, when we use the Rotate command, I want to rotate this so that the, this part here goes up. So I have to go over to this surface here so that I can get my rotation tool. Otherwise, if I'm here, it's just going to rotate it on this axis and it's just going to stay flat. So this allows me, holding down the shift, I can click on the front and now I can flip that up 90 degrees and that pretty much sets it up. So this can be a little bit hard to see if it's exactly correct. So if we change our camera to parallel and go into our front view, you can see that I'm going to have to lift just lift this up a little bit higher. Go back to my front view. And so I can see everything's working pretty good. I'm happy with this now, so I'll put it back into perspective. Uh, it's always good to do that because we can forget and then we're in a little bit of trouble. So now what we need to do with this is um, uh, we need to explode this. So I'll click on it, right click and explode. So, of course, you remember that if we explode this, I should be able to go into my paint bucket and click in my things here. And if I come down to the bottom, oh, I think, is that it there? I think that's it right there. So if I was to paint this on here, you would see that it kind of is kind of weird. It's tiled and it just doesn't look correct. So what we're going to do with this, I'll just undo that, is we need to pull pull this image through. It doesn't matter how far, just pulling it through. And then we need to select this image. 
and you can just triple click on it. One, two, three, right click and interface with model. Okay, so you're right clicking and in the middle of your options is interface with model. So now if we were to erase, I need the front picture still, so we just erase this part. And I can erase the back as well. I don't need the back. So you can see that it's cut an outline. And again, if I look at my materials, if I paint it, it even looks worse now. So it's, it's very, very difficult to get this to be painted correctly. So what I can do is with my eyedropper, I can click on this, click on the scene, and you can see that it paints correctly. So that's pretty good. That's what I'm after. So I'm quite happy with that. So now I can get rid of this and I don't need the rest of this so well. I can just clean it up and make it into a group. So I'll just triple click this, one, two, three, right click, make it a group. And I'm also going to look at my layers here. I'm going to add an, a background layer. And right click Entity Info. Hiding somewhere on my disk. Sorry, it took so long to find that. We'll just change that now to, oops, change that to the background layer. And that means if we need to turn it off, we can. Okay, so now all we need to do is position this using move command. I'll just move it in a little bit closer. And I'm also going to drop this down because I don't want to see that title in there. If I go back to the scene now. And I look out my window. You can see by me orbiting around, I can see the different areas that are outside there. So that gives me a nice little scene on the outside. Um, I think I probably have to orbit it a little bit, rotate it if I want it to work in that window. But I think you've got the idea of what we're doing with this. So I hope you enjoyed that, and again, you can go over the steps if you want to create that. Thank you.